What's up guys? Taco here with the Cedar Homestead. Put this pig feeder that I made up myself. I did a little searching on the internet, but I figured I would try my own thing. Uh, never been one to try somebody else's idea, so I'm gonna try my own idea. Um, so I just have one of these drums laying around right here. And uh, I believe it's a 55 gallon. And I just cut, I cut a rectangle. I uh, drilled two holes at the bottom in the middle for water to drain out of. And then I went to the local tractor supply and I got some of these bolts and these bolts with the hooks on them. You can see it. See the, the, all right, I got two washers. I got a, I believe that's a, a half inch. Well, actually it's, the diameter is an inch and a half. And the other one on the inside is about five eighths. That way this don't pull it through. And I have a, these are uh, inch and inch and three eighths long, I think three eighths bolts. And I got the uh, carabiner clip for the fence. So basically the washers on the outside and the inside keep this bolt from pulling through. So it's, it, it squeezes it together so it won't tear the plastic up. So I'm gonna give it a try. I don't know, I figured it was quick, it was easy. I'm gonna clip it to the fence and see if it works as far as just putting feed in it so our, our hog can eat out of it because she's constantly knocking the bowl over. I bought some, bought some wood today too. I'm gonna build a rabbit tractor for the rabbits. I got uh, some 12 foot boards, 12 foot treated boards, and I have some scrap metal. So I guess I'm only gonna build one for I guess all the females, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna build it and we're gonna start rotating this thing on the pasture so we can quit feeding them. Uh, feed because it gets expensive <laughs> all right so I got it mounted I think it's gonna work out fine uh, as you can see I got the clips put the camera clips on the cattle panel right here clipped it on that one and I clipped it on that one and it leaves it at an angle where she can eat and I'm fixing to pull the the piglets out. <clears throat> I'm fixing to pull them out, so I'm not really worried about them eating. They're still, they're still a suckling right now, so they're not. When they do eat feed, she eats it faster than they can eat it. But they're still, they're, they're still drinking milk, so I'm not really worried about them. We're fixing to move them anyway. We got some of them, we got some of them sold, but we're gonna move them out to the the trampoline frame that we have because it it works. It works really well. Matter of fact, if I could buy like five more, because I wanted, I want to buy like five more of them and uh, stagger them across the pasture and move them like every three days and just, and then, you know, move them down and then start over again, move them down. And I think it'll work out real well. It's for the piglets until they get big enough to where we can uh, get them slaughtered. <clears throat> but, uh, well, that was pretty easy. Worked out better than what I thought it would because I, I was in, I was gonna build a frame for it, uh, but that would have been me having to buy more wood, and I already bought wood for the for the rabbit tractor, which is gonna go out there in the pasture, and it should be pretty easy too. I got metal for it, so nothing too complicated. I think it's gonna work out fine, but man. It is a sloppy, sloppy mess out here, guys. This is completely ridiculous. I mean, maybe starting out, I didn't know that it'd be better to have your animals further away, but it's easier because they're closer and they're easier to feed. But if you got them close to your house, good Lord. I mean, it is soupy out here real soupy uh, and it's perfect about 100 yards down perfect grass is perfect but there ain't nothing right here I mean, it's just the rain is awful it's just terrible i'm gonna take you over here and show you this too i did this yesterday and they finally started using this thing so she told you that we i took the chicken pen down right 
I uh, put it behind the barn, which it's working out pretty good. And yesterday, I did this. <clears throat> yesterday, I put the ramp for the chickens, and I cut a hole in the barn, and I cut a hole in the chicken coop, and there's a walkway on the other side, and so the chickens can, they go up in there, and that's where they eat now, because if, uh, if, uh, if they don't go in there and eat, I don't find, what's up buddy? Are you hungry? Is it time to eat? I think it might be time to eat. Yeah? Well, you're wet. Hello JJ. <laughs> He's licking my arm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if the chickens don't go in there, they won't eat. So they gotta go in there to eat now. It's gonna save on feed. Uh, as far as dumping it on the ground and it weighs some and the and the, the and the ducks too. The ducks they eat a lot. So I don't know if they figured out how to get in there or not, but if they don't, it's fine with me. So that's what I did yesterday. Cut that hole. <clears throat> but um uh, I did notice as I was walking around yesterday that we have a, our first broody hen. Now she's sitting on eggs in the trailer. And I probably need to go mark those eggs because if I don't mark them, I'll never know what day they were, you know, because the chickens, the chickens, the chickens are still, the hens are still laying in the trailer. So they'll lay around her and she'll, she'll scoop the eggs up underneath her and uh, continue to sit on them. So there might be five one day, 15 the next so I gotta go over here and mark these eggs that way we know because if I don't know if she told y'all or not we had like good lord 15 eggs in the incubator that were on day 19 and we had a power surge and it fried the motherboard or the circuit board on our little giant incubator on one of them and it quit it quit heating it. the heating element went out it didn't work anymore and I didn't know it I didn't know it until it was too late. I woke up one morning to go to work and it was 75 degrees. And then I already knew, I was like, ah, it's too late. They're all, they all didn't make it. So we're down to one incubator. And we actually had four, four or five hatch out uh, yesterday and one this morning. They actually hatched in the other incubator with the turner still turning. So I was like, well, well daggum. I'm not gonna buy another one. If they're still, if they're still hatching in the incubator with it turning, then I'll start over again with the eggs on day one, and when they get to 19, I'll just turn the turner off and leave them in there. They'll hatch. Just let them hatch out in there. I'll save myself 50 bucks. This gate is kicking my butt. Really, this gate is kicking my butt. Hold on. All right, got it. All right, so I look for parts on the internet for this for this incubator <clears throat> and the heating element with the fan because for some reason they won't sell you just the heating element you got to buy the fan you know they got to throw a deal in there for you it was still 40 bucks 40 bucks you didn't even, you didn't even get the styrofoam incubator all you get is the, the the circulating fan and the heater so i was like well daggum if i'm if i'm going to spend 40 bucks on a heater and a fan i'm going to buy a whole new incubator for 49.99 and I didn't do it because we realized that we didn't need it anyway. Plus we got a hen starting to sit, so I'm gonna... She gone. I don't know where she went. Well, there's the eggs. Let's see if they're still warm. She's been in and out all day. It's the same hen. Uh... No. Okay, well. No, she's not broody. Maybe she's just uh, coming here and laying and leaving. So I'll come and get those eggs today. So next day on the broody day, she ain't sitting yet. It's her. She's the one right there. I don't know if she quite understands what she's doing yet, but uh, she ain't. All right, so. This is what I got today. It was kind of like a random thought. 
because when I go, I mean, this is how I am. If she sends me to the grocery store to get milk, I'm getting milk and five packs of steaks because they're on sale and they were out of date. And that's the best way you buy steaks is when they're out of date. So today I went to get the clips and the bolts for the drum for the pig feeder and I got oil, bolts, feed, and two befores. Well, she sent me to get the feed too. Um, I had to get pig feed, chicken feed, and uh, some corn, just in case, just in case we can't go to the store the next two weeks. But, <clears throat> so here's the wood. I got uh, four 12 foot two befores, four eight foot two befores. I got two 12 foot two befores treated and two eight foot two befores treated. And that's what I'm gonna build the, the rabbit tractor out of. You know, I don't know. I got to thinking about it. 12, 12 foot, that is a huge tractor, like huge. And I could probably cut these two befores in half and make four six footers, which is not a bad idea. Um, because you're gonna move them anyway, or at least make, or at least make two 12 footers. You know, cut the two fours in half and frame it up, with, and then put wire around it with metal on top. So that's probably gonna happen in the near future. I'm not sure if I'll do it after work or not because work's been crazy. Uh, so that's that's up and coming. That's the next thing. Uh, that and. <clears throat> We had one of our our Hereford, our gilts, I guess you could call it that. She's, she's still young, she ain't but five weeks old. But uh, she uh, she had, I guess, on her um, umbilical cord. Okay. What? What is it? Hey, I won't. Your mama's gonna get you. You keep chewing on that plastic. You keep chewing on that plastic and she's gonna get you. You know it? These are our last two, our last two puppies from uh, Queen. These are the last two that we have to sell. We have to sell. Uh, so, because we have uh, five, 14 more. It's a bad time, but 14 more to sell. But the pig, the pig, forgot about the pig. Um, her umbilical cord didn't close up all the way, so her stomach started pushing out, so it was causing a hernia. And uh, we tried wrapping it. It didn't really work out too well. So we're giving her shots of penicillin. And um, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it's, it doesn't look, at, look like it's, it's as bad as it was whenever we got her from the pen because it was pretty bad when she was out there. It was starting to swell and it wasn't infected. But I don't know if it's because she's not trying to uh, suck anymore on the sow, stretching her stomach out and, it's, and it irritating it. But we've been feeding her and uh, just kind of regulate what we feed her, not feed her as much. So her stomach will kind of shrink a little, little bit and it'll pull that hernia back up maybe. I don't know, sounds good to me. But if it doesn't fix itself, I mean, but th the problem is that if it, if it gets small enough, I can try my hand at sewing and I'll sew it. But if it's not going to heal, then in seven months we just have to take her to slaughter because there's no way we can keep her. She, she could die from that maybe, you know, the hernia bust and Lord knows I'm not a surgeon. But, uh, so, anyway, now I'm just going to walk around because I can actually get outside and breathe. You know, it's like being cooped up in the house for your two days off and all it wants to do is rain. Now it's not raining so I can get out and walk. <clears throat> we moved these guys out here yesterday too and the heat lamp is supposed to be on. And I got a short somewhere in this clubhouse out here and it keeps tripping the breaker. Uh, it's another day, another project. 
officially will flip the breaker back on. But they're big enough that we could move them out because they're just too big to be inside the house. <clears throat> that little tub that starts to stink and stuff. But they'll be fine out here. So when they get big enough, all of them out and start rolling. But I gotta get this. Uh, I gotta get this heat lamp back on. All it is is a breaker. Hopefully, I can flip it. And it'll it'll stay on. But uh, it looks like we got a male and a male. I don't know. Maybe a one of those. I'm not good with ducks. What are the ducks called? The male ducks. They're called drakes, I guess. And the females. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably edit all this out because I don't really know. Call them a hen. <laughs> Who cares? I'm going to eat them though. <clears throat> Hope y'all like what we got going on in here. I mean, she's more of a she's more an educated talker than I am. Me personally, I'm just a trial and error kind of person especially when it comes to this stuff out here in the homestead I mean I read I read how to do stuff but there's only so much reading you can do until you actually put your hands on it and then figure out that what you read was wrong and then you just kind of figure it out your own way and if it works it works and if it don't maybe you should have read more <laughs> but uh but yeah I enjoy I enjoy doing this out here you know it relaxes me Especially on my days off, being at work for dealing with all the stuff at work, and I come home and kind of unwind. But then on the other hand, I'm home for two days, and you know I'm always like trying to find something to do, and there's something that needs to be done, and, or cleaned, or moved, or picked up. <clears throat> so, like I always said, don't worry. Don't worry so much about the small stuff. Don't sweat it. There's a lot more things going on in this world right now than the small stuff. When I was a kid, we had a lot of my family members that, uh, that you know, got cancer, they were sick, passed away. And so for being a kid, it was really hard. It was hard on me. Man, it was hard on my family. And, and even, even close friends, uncles that passed away unexpectedly or something would happen, you know. And so at a young age, I kind of learned that, hey, just, hey, don't worry. Let it, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. You know, I don't have the reins to this world. I don't control how the world spins. I don't control the weather. I don't control other people. All I can do is take care of mine, my family, you know, my close family. I can watch out for them, you know, so it's more of like uh, you just have to kind of react to what happens around you, but you can also prepare, but uh, in saying that, don't worry, don't worry about life, don't let it get you down, don't let it slow you down, um, because uh, some good things will happen, some good things will, will come true to a reality. Uh, I just got a job actually last week. I've been trying to get a job for a while <laughs> and, and most of the people that know me know that I've been trying to get one for a while and it's really frustrating because uh, You know you don't get you don't get it. You think you're gonna get it and you don't get it <clears throat> So you feel like with well, that gum, you know uh, You give up But uh, don't give up. You got to keep going. You got to keep pushing uh, You got to keep trying to be better keep learning keep uh, filling this thing up right here and for me I can't fill this thing up right here and this thing right here <laughs> so uh, but hey I don't want to get long-winded because she's gonna edit most of the stuff out anyway I don't blame her I talk a lot but uh, appreciate y'all guys really um, we're on the road to 200 you know the road to 200 we're about 137 or something um, if we get there we get there and if we don't we don't. Um, I just enjoy doing these videos so y'all can see what's going on. And maybe somebody's learning something, or maybe somebody's not. But uh, saying that, be easy, guys. 